we're back. Um, I got lost. I got pretty lost. But I think I, I think I know. I think I know now. I think I've found my way. I didn't want to, like, spend too much time on things, so... We'll just do it. Yes. I didn't know we could Yuka. do that. Alright, Yuka, it's involved. all yours. No need for you to hold it in any longer. <sighs> That's a relief. The old rusted nail puller stabbed under the strain is no longer usable. So let's go and make the pee pee. Oh! Okay. There's no stalls, so what now? You're gonna have to hold it in. Do you have to go really bad? Well, if you can't hold it in any longer, then how about I wait outside and you do what you gotta do? No, I'll keep holding it. Okay, but don't strain yourself. When you gotta go, you gotta go after all. Ugh. So there is another note. Victim's Memoirs, 3-5. Mitsuharu. Really isn't anywhere to be found, is he? I guess it's true. I'll probably never see him again, but I may have figured out a way of getting in contact with him at least. He left me a message on the teacher's desk in one of the classrooms. Looks like even when we're in different spaces, we can still communicate that way, but it's not enough. There's no warmth to be felt from the written word alone. I miss our fights, our impromptu wrestling matches, but it's not just physical contact. What I want more than anything is to see his face again. I just want to be able to see him around and make small talk, ask him how he's been and what he plans to do after school. Those simple, everyday interactions are some of my most precious memories now. What I wouldn't give to have those days back. Funny what runs through your head when you're trying to make frostbitten fingers move without cracking off. Okay. Alrighty. That was a thing. Alright, let's go back down. I think we already examined this, right? Yeah, we already examined that. Oh! Huh? Sounds like a camera? Oh, that was probably over here, I think. Morshige, you're okay. Oh, the blood's there! Mochida, you as well. I'm so relieved to see someone else in class. Yeah. No, don't look. Oh my god, why'd you look? What, what is this? Is it. Was it. Person? It's an awful sight, isn't it? it seems like pulverizing the remains to me. There's a bit of breast meat mixed in, so I'm guessing female. Never thought I'd see something so horrific. Makes me want to throw up. Y yeah. Uh -huh. At any rate, I'm glad you're all right. Have you found anyone else? I'm afraid I haven't. I just woke awoken here a short while ago and haven't encountered a single other soul. The same story as us, then. My sister and I have, haven't come across anyone else yet. So, you haven't seen Mayu, then. Oh. Uh, that's Mayu. You guys, I hate to break it to you. No, sorry. That poor girl. I'm sure she's in here somewhere, shivering like the rain. I need to find her. I need to be with her. I'm certain Suzumoto might, must be thinking the same thing about you. How about we look for her together? No, if we're split up, that wastes the odds of someone to someone else. So I'm gonna take another look around the building by myself. Alright, then how about we designate Classroom 1A as an official rendezvous point? If you find any of the others, tell them we'll all be gathering together there. And we'll do the same, sound good? Wakata. Sounds like a plan. Okay, Big Brother, what is that? Is it... Throw up? It, it, it's nothing. Don't look at it, okay? Come on. Let's get out of here. Uh, that boy, he was talking. I'm sure it wasn't what it looked like. Uh, come on, let's go. Oh, he was taking. Okay. Okay. 
save here just in case. I don't even know what that was. Okay, um, but I heard a thump, a huge thump. So I guess we're going down again. Oh, oh, the, what, the hallway, it got bigger. body of a female student. Attached to her breast pocket is a white student ID name tag. Musashigawa Girls High School, Class 2-3. Mika Naruse. <sighs> Jia. Nana. Please be okay. I'm sorry. I'm such a coward. It sounds horrible. Like, it sounds fucking horrible. That kid's not there anymore. So let's go back to the classroom. Because now there's another place that's open. I doubt that he might have seen it. Maybe. I'm not so sure. from last chapter. Big Brother, look, it says Miss Yui. Uh, yeah, and I recognize that sloppy handwriting, no doubt about it. It's Yui Shiki, which means he's also been brought here, at the very least, along with Miss Yui. So if we wait here, do you think they'll come back? I really like the coffee milk she brought us. I don't know, maybe. Though we have no way of knowing if they're in the same space as us. Uh, words seem to have materialized, hovering in the air just above the desk's surface, barely perceptible. Unfortunately, the letters are very faint, so you can't quite make sense of them just yet. Okay. That's creepy. That's very creepy. She's like, and it's empty. So, whoever it was that used that bucket to make tea, they haven't done it yet. So I'm very concerned that no one has used that bucket to make pee pee yet. I would like for the bucket to make pee pee. Okay, that's still not there. Alright. Oh, well, might as well do this way. Okay. Oh, we're outside! This is oh, yes, we're finally outside. Uh, it's freezing out here. The second wing, huh? Can't believe the school is this big. Uh, are you alright? Uh huh. I'll be fine. Maybe, maybe there'll be a faculty bathroom in the second wing. Seems like we could climb this fence pretty easily and get the hell out of here. But look at those woods, it's like they go on forever. And they're completely surrounded by this whole building. I guess now's not the time to be worrying about that. Anyway, well, first things first, let's take care of you this predicament. Yes. Come on, let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, this is... Oh, this place doesn't feel right at all. The air, it's really thick. Oh, big brother, my head hurts. It feels like it's kind of split open. Mine too, and my ears are ringing. I don't think this is safe to be in here for very long. Do you want to wait outside, Yuka? I definitely get the feeling you'd be safer there. No, please take me with you. Don't leave me by myself. 
Look at that. Don't have much choice then. Alright. No need to worry, worry, okay? I'll stay right by your side. Okay. Understand that at all? I, I I don't understand. Oh, let me save here in case something bad happens. Okay. Um, I would say probably we're good here, and I'll see you guys next time on the good old fashioned. Corpse Party Parade. This is Ron. See you guys later. Bye.